Gotta wait for my husband to come in through the garage door. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's him. <laughs> and the teen child up there. So hey, welcome back to All Things Equilateral, where guess what, right now, I do not have an unboxing. Who am I? What happened? <laughs> what I have is a simply ginormous, shh, don't tell my husband, <laughs> book haul from about January, February, March, April. It's now May. So let's see all the stuff that I've managed to accumulate in like, you know, four short months. Oh boy. First, I don't know if you guys like pre-order stuff, but I do a lot of it. And um, there's a lot of pre-order goodies that publishers make available as well as authors. And one of them was this Victoria Schwab, I think they call it, I don't know what they call it. You wrap it around the book. So, you know, it has all the covers and guess what you guys, it's actually signed. I just love this. I love this trilogy and I uh, gotta be honest, I've only read the first one, loved it to pieces, uh, let somebody borrow it and that copy's now gone. <laughs> but I have bought the next two and I'm dying to read them. I just need a little bit of time. You know, that thing I don't have. So. The first book was actually recommended by my friend, Bookalicious Pam, if everyone knows, Pam is a book agent and she is fabulous. I think now she's working for a publishing company, publishing nonfiction, like cookbooks and stuff. But she posted this and said it was based on a Russian fable or fairy tale and so immediately I had to buy it. This is the UK cover from the book depository, The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Beware the evil in the woods. And like I said, it's based on a Russian folktale. Okay, the next book I got is by one of my very favorite authors, Ellen Hopkins. This is her latest, and it's The You I've Never Known. On the back, it says, I want to be that sure of the truth of me. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of semi-certainty, which is pretty much meaningless. So it's about two girls, Ariel, Ariel and Maya, and their lives collide in, in a moment and kind of the fallout from that. I'm looking forward to it. As usual, um, Ellen's books are, they look really thick, but they're written in prose and yeah, they read really fast. The next book I got, one that I really got for my girls, but let's face it, they're a little bit older. They're almost 12 and 14. So it's a book I got for myself. Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. How could I resist this? Look at that beautiful, beautiful cover. And the illustrations inside are amazing. Um, they're done by different illustrators, different artists. And so here's like a Catherine the Great. And it's just a single page of biography information. Brenda Chapman, again, see a different artist. Maria Callas, the famous opera singer. It tells you a little bit about them and inspires us as women and girls to know that there are people who have gone before us, women who have gone before us and have fought a battle in their own right, in their own industry. Okay, you guys are gonna be <laughs> sick and tired of this, but not a video goes by that I don't mention this author. Allie Carter, this is the third book in her Embassy Road trilogy, and we get to find out what happens to Grace and more importantly to Alexei, the boy next door in the Russian embassy. We get to find out how their story resolves, how, what Grace's mystery about her mom and the secret society. Ellie's books are amongst my very, very, very favorite. And I listen to this on an audio and I'll do a book review on it fairly soon if you guys are interested. So the next book I actually did a blog tour for and reviewed it on page turners. I'll link the review down below. It's Margaret Stoll's Boys rules. And I have to tell you, I enjoyed the first book in Beautiful Creatures and then the second book not so much. Kind of dropped off that series and haven't picked up on Margaret and Cami Garcia's solo ventures. But I really enjoyed this. If you like reality TV, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. It's loosely based on kind of keeping up with the Kardashians concept about a family that films a reality show called Rolling with the Royces and their individual personalities. Um, and the show is about to get canceled when the book starts. So it's a good read, solid read. I love this author. I love everything he's ever written from children's storybooks to adult novels. I have not read this novel yet. It's about to become Star's original series, Neil Gaiman's American Gods. Have you guys read this? I'm kind of excited and I'm also a little scared about the series because, you know, I don't like things too dark or kind of gory. I don't know if he's gonna go there, he usually doesn't. Let me know down below. Let me not show my address again. <laughs> Is a pre-order item and I pre-ordered Julie Murphy's Ramona Blue. And with your pre-order, you got a signed 
book plate. This is the cutest thing ever. You got a cute little postcard, you guys. Look at how cute this is. And my absolute favorite, you know how much we love nail polish at my house. These are nail decals. This is for Ramona Blue. There's one for Side Effects May Vary. And there's one for Dumplin'. And I adore Dumplin'. Side Effects May Vary it is on my TBR. I've got to get to it this summer. And of course, Ramona Blue, I've pre-ordered. Oh, there was also this cool bookmark the back here, which Julie also signed. Exo Julie, how cute is she? So I love to take advantage of pre-orders. I'm gonna get the book anyway. Why not get a couple of goodies that, you know, that the author or um, the publisher are giving away? So the next book is going to be near and dear to my heart. Some of you might know I have a son who runs track and cross country in high school. He's gonna continue to do that in college. Guess what? This is a book about running. And it's about a girl who's kind of caught between two worlds. She's got a grandmother from China and another one from Ghana. And she's 15 years old when uh, tragedy strikes and she discovers a new talent, which I think might have to do with running. This is the UK edition from Book Depository. Look at how pretty these end pages are. They're all spray painted. Don't you love that? I love this little detail. This is my third copy of Hunted. Yes, that's right. Those copies are going out this week to my winners. Okay, Margo from Epic Reads, thanks so much because you talked about this book, that you read this book after you read all Harry Potter series for the first time. You needed kind of a palate cleanser and you compared it to The Martian. Yeah. So based on that, I ordered this book, All of Our Wrong Todays by Elon Mastai. It's 2016 here, but it kind of sounds, I don't want to call it post-apocalyptic, but he finds himself stranded in alternate reality. So it's kind of sci-fi. This is an adult book. It's supposed to be hysterical along the lines of the Martian being hysterical. Okay, the next three I got just purely for me. I loved Mary Poppins as a kid, and during the summers, I would check out this book for probably, I don't know, three to four years in a row. I would check out the first book, then I discovered it was a series, and so I bought the missing books and the editions that I love. This is uh, Mary Poppins, the first book, and then this is Mary Poppins Comes Back, which I think is the second book. And then the cutest thing, Gail Travers actually wrote this little cookbook, Mary Poppins in the Kitchen. It's the same kind of editions, and <clears throat> it is very much a story, but it does include recipes, which, I mean, look, here's one for lemon souffle, and it's the same illustrator, uh, Mary Shepard, who did the original drawings. How could I resist? This, of course, on Amazon, it was quite a deal. Now, I mentioned that every spring break, we went to visit my parents, and we stopped by, what the heck is it called? Oh yeah, Half Price Books, and there, I got three books. I know, I, I shouldn't. The books that I got were Patrick Ness's series, the Knife of Never Letting Go, which I think most of you know, it's about a dystopian society where everyone can hear everyone else's thoughts in a constant, overwhelming, never-ending noise. It's about a boy named Todd who stumbles upon a spot of complete silence. And so I got the whole series, Monsters of Men and The Ask and The Answer. These are huge books, and so I'm hoping like over summer, the kids will wanna go to the beach or to the pool, and I'll just hunker down with these and read them all at once. You're thinking to yourself, there can't be possibly more. Oh, but there are. Didn't I say there were four months? So this is a copy of Ramona Blue that I mentioned that I got from a friend who sent me the Vance Readish copy. I can hardly wait to read this. Also from Disney Hyperion, I got Rachel Kahn's Kill All the Happies. If you can't beat them, party. And this is about a girl and her post-graduation, post-senior year experience. And I was also sent Wild Man. Again, it's about a post-graduation uh, moment and this boy character named Lance Hendrick who ends up stranded in a town and somehow gets involved in like a car accident and a rescue in a small town. So you know I loved stories, creepy stories about small towns. I'm hoping this is one or road trip adventures. This book, I don't even know where I saw it. I follow a lot of Australian Instagram accounts and they were talking about night swimming. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this sounds just like a book for me. I love my contemporary reads in the summer and I ordered it from Book Depository. It's about two girls in a small town. One of them is dying to leave and the other one is worried about leaving the small town because her family has a history of leaving. Sounds like a contemporary, sounds like something that I am totally gonna love this summer. Plus, I mean, look at the cover. 
So cute. So I said I was gonna read more graphic novels this year, just you wait, <laughs> summer's coming. I received this from Scott Westerfeld's publisher, it's called Spill Zone, and it's by First Second Books. I mean, in the back they're using words like little dark, little twisted, completely enthralling. This is from Marissa Meyer, you know I love her. And io9 said it's amazing. So, I mean, look at that cover. I am very picky about illustrations and these look really good. Okay, you know my friend, Christy. I'm looking at you from Tales of a Ravenous Re Reader and Nancy. Over spring break at my parents' house, Christy kept talking about that the ship in this book is awesome. I don't think she means the one on the cover. <laughs> this is a time travel story and supposedly really cute. My dog is moving my light. So I'm, you know me, I love my ships. I love my time travel. Okay, again, from Half Price Books when I was there, I've heard nothing but good things about this Mosquito Land. I don't think I need to say more. You guys have seen this. I think it was released about a year ago because this is a paperback or maybe even two years ago. It's about Mim Malone. It's about a girl whose parents split up and then she's dragged to Mississippi where her dad is remarried but then she finds out her mom is sick. So it's all about Mim's journey. The last book, I swear I hauled this like years ago but because I love Caraval so much, I can't believe that I haven't read this yet. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Uh, yeah, it's time. And then also we have a local used bookstore that is just amazing. Do you guys have an amazing local used bookstore? We do. Grassroots Books. And they had this copy of Pride and Prejudice and it's the annotated one because when my son was reading it, he's like, Mom, where are all the footnotes? So here are all the footnotes on history and expressions and kind of explaining the social circumstances too that took place during Jane's time. So good, look at how thick it is. I can hardly wait to read this edition. The last book, it's gonna be my next book that I read. I've been dying to read this. I'm in totally all in on contemporaries and it's Alex Approximately. They're calling it the YA version of You've Got Mail. I love that movie. I love the push pull and tension in it. I hope it's replicated in this book. Chronicle Books, I just love Chronicle Books. They sent me this copy, it's a finished copy of Get It Together, Delilah. Yeah. This won Australia's Ampersand Prize for debut young adult fiction. I love Australian writers and I'm so glad that Chronicle Books and other publishers published them here in the United States. This is about 17 year old Delilah Green who is in her last year of school. And so she finds herself kind of alone. Her dad is on a trip to fix his broken heart after her mom left him for another man. So Del is managing the family cafe in his absence. Easy, she thinks. But then all this stuff happens. Doesn't it sound cute? And it's about coffee so I can sit there with my coffee and just read it. But we're down to the last two books. I know, can you believe it? The first one is Spindle Fire by Alexa Hillier. And this is, uh, this was sent to me by Alexa and it's a Sleeping Beauty, like reimagining, I think. It's, it is fantasy based. I'm all about fairy tales, as you know. So I'm, this one I'm really looking forward to. And the last book is probably Cats and My, like one of the most anticipated books of the year, though. I don't think I, I know I didn't have it in my top 10 because it's a short story anthology, but <clears throat> it's because you love to hate me. It's a compilation of YA authors and our favorite booktubers, you guys. And this is a little sampler that was sent to me by, uh, by Bloomsbury Publishing. And I can, I'm dying for this. I mean, it's everybody. It's a little book of Owl and Peru's project. No way. So, whew, that was a lot of books. How many months did I say? Hmm, three or four, maybe. Yeah, a lot of books. What did you guys get this spring? And just link here. Booktube stuff below or your book blog posts about your hauls because I love those and thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time with probably an unboxing. Yeah, you know me. Thanks. Oh, yeah, don't forget to <laughs> When I'm not unboxing I don't make it so bad at this give me a thumbs up and don't forget to follow for more of my nonsense. Thanks so much. Cut